Hey you, yeah, you, the person watching the video. Are you one of the eight people who likes this game? Well, I am too, so if you want to see more stuff for this game, uh, subscribe. Hey there friends, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Season 1 for the Suicide Squad game. More specifically, Episode 1 of Season 1, because there is a second part that is coming soon, uh, in like six weeks, so not super soon, but still. And basically, just in general about the season and if it's good, it's, it's kind of a review discussion thing, I don't know what I'm gonna title it, but anyways. Now, Season 1 brought a lot of new stuff to the game, but there are some major issues with the Season 1 stuff in general. First off, the PC version is completely broken now. Um, season 1 completely broke the game on PC. People who were having no performance issues before are now getting as low as like 10 frames per second, which is obviously a huge issue and really, really, really needs to be fixed and hopefully is fixed much faster than the other stuff was fixed with like the mastery issues because people are not going to wait that long especially not again if they've had the other issues but outside of just that there's some other stuff and mainly just due to lack of content specifically new content now the new gear and new weapons and stuff are actually pretty good in my opinion i think that they're a lot of fun to use i think that they're a lot of fun to mess around with Joker is a lot of fun to mess around with a lot of fun to play with once again and he might actually be my favorite character in the game now to play as. But the thing is that there's only one new story mission. And while I'm surprised about the fact that the Brainiac Green Lantern boss fight actually was not just completely reused, and it is very different from the original Green Lantern boss fight, that is the only new story mission, like at all. And the other missions, which are not story missions, are basically completely the same as the normal mastery missions in the Finite Crisis. And the only difference being that they are in a different environment and there's some different modifiers, which is fine, but there should have been more story missions to go alongside that. And the thing is, while they never promised directly how many story missions were going to be in Season 1, Episode 1, they also didn't say anything about the fact that people were saying, oh, we're going to get this many missions, blah, blah, blah. And because of them not confirming anything, people got their hopes up about how much there would be. And it makes sense. I mean, I would have expected at least one mission to set up the whole idea of there being Joker and then a mission to go save Joker and then one more mission where you are doing Joker stuff. Then there's the fact of unlocking Joker, which it's not a horrible idea, okay? And you really can get Joker really fast if you don't want to spend money, and it's not that big of a deal. The issue is that people were not told about this. We weren't informed about this until Tuesday, two days before the update, and not even by a direct like announcement or anything. You just had to go into the game, and then it said on one of the daily news things in the top left of the main menu, which I don't count as them directly communicating. And the big thing that comes down with this update is the lack of communication, because they didn't tell anyone about this, and so people had the knee-jerk reaction is going to be, oh my god, he's not free, what is happening, why is this like this, and and you can get Joker in two hours, four hours, or some people have been able to get him in as little as 30 minutes. So it really isn't a big deal. This is clearly for people who are going to be playing the game for the first time and want to use Joker through like the main story. But this just wasn't communicated well enough and is a big issue just because of that. They should have said much earlier that this was going to be how it was should have been very explicit about the fact that yes you can get joker for free and that this is just a shortcut now outside of that we have the battle pass which isn't horrible um it has a good amount of stuff i think for ten dollars or if you have the deluxe edition you get one token you can use on it and you do get a thousand luther coins so you can buy the next pass but the big issue with it is the fact that 
while each character gets a new outfit and like customization options for that outfit, Boomerang is for some reason completely left out of this. And if you go to the shop, you'll notice that in the new outfit set, the Super Zero's Deadshot is left out of it. And it seems like for some reason they've decided that outfit sets will only have four characters, which is just not a good idea. And even outside of that, the fact that they don't have a single outfit for each character in the battle pass is a big issue. And they really need to change that in the future because leaving Boomerang out of the set is going to make a lot of people unhappy because not everyone's going to play as each of the characters. A lot of people are going to pick one character and play with them. And if you're going to leave any of them out, people are going to be upset and they are going to be disappointed. Now, the battle pass progression is also just not great in general. Now, I've found a workaround to level it up pretty fast, but just by playing normal missions and doing the mastery missions like you're kind of meant to do, it goes very slow. And I understand that the idea for it is that, oh, you're not supposed to be getting it all immediately. You're just supposed to play the game when you want and you're going to slowly get it all. But that's not how a lot of people are. And it should be a lot faster than it is. I will say I am very happy about the fact that the pass will not be disappearing and that you'll be able to do this whenever you want, buy it whenever you want. It doesn't matter if it's on season four, you'll still be able to get all of the season passes from the previous seasons. And that's just a thing with the content in general that I'm very happy about. All of the episodes, all of the story and stuff will be able to be experienced long in the future. Now, another issue is that on the roadmap, they listed strongholds, which sounded like a cool new feature. The base assumption of what people thought it was, was that it would be some no sort of stronghold that you would have to raid of Brainiacs. And that was a fun sounding thing, but then release comes and nobody can find these strongholds. No one knows how to access them or do them. Eventually someone asks in the discord what the strongholds are or where they are. And apparently those are just the new overworld missions, the like terraformers and stuff like the normal basic missions that aren't in the alternate nexus areas. And that's fine. Like, okay, whatever, that's fine to say. I mean, they're not. Th that's not that big of a deal. But the thing is, when you list something on the thing and don't explain what it is, people get their hopes up once again. And people make assumptions, which, why wouldn't they? Because if it was just the same stuff, why would it be listed as something different? And if these things were all called strongholds all along, how would we know that? They never told us, and when they saw that people were starting to think this, they should have made an announcement saying, hey, uh, we, strongholds are these missions that you have, uh, like in the post story, and we're just adding some more of them. And then said, however, we'll have more mission. we will have like whatever bases or something in the future if they wanted to, or even just not even say that, just say, hey, just so you know, the strongholds are this thing. because." Then you have people for months thinking, oh, what could these strongholds be? Ooh, are we going to get new all of this new stuff with these strongholds? But now the strongholds are here and they're not anything new. They're stuff we've already experienced. And it's just disappointing for people, rightfully so and justifiably so. Then we have the fact that it is split into two episodes, which apparently a lot of people did not realize that the seasons were going to be in kind of two parts. And because of this, we don't have half of the season basically released yet. And we barely know anything about season one, episode two. Season one, episode two, duality, which is like the two face stuff. It's going to have new areas for Metropolis transformed once again, just like the first episode. Some new gear, which does look fun and some new infused enemies. And these are separate from the just Green Lantern shielded enemies. There's actual Green Lantern infused enemies, as well as a new boss fight being the Superman Brainiac boss fight, which after this boss fight with Green Lantern one, I am assuming is going to be a good amount different from the main Superman fight, just like how the Green Lantern one goes. But the thing is that outside of that, we don't have any clue what's coming with episode two. 
except we kind of do because of leaks. But the thing is, they haven't confirmed the whole new mode that's supposed to be coming with Season 1, Episode 2. Because there is supposed to be a PvP mode coming with that. It's going to be a PvPVE, so it's going to have normal enemies as well as two separate Suicide Squads from different universes facing off. Which is going to be a cool thing. But for some reason, they just didn't announce it. And now people are reasonably thinking, dang, episode one didn't have much, so I'm sure episode two's not. And honestly, outside of this new special mode, it's most likely going to have only two story missions, which is double the amount we have with this first episode. Um, there's mo supposedly supposed to be like some sort of introduction to the different versus the different uh, multiplayer mode, the PvP mode, the 2VK as it's called by the game. And in that, you basically are going to be doing like a fight against a uh, AI squad, which will be that one story mission. And then the other story mission, I'm assuming, would be the Superman one. And there could be more than that, but we don't actually know. And they haven't actually told us. So overall, the season just doesn't have as much content as people were hoping. Overall, I think that that honestly would be fine. But the thing is that they need to start saying stuff. They need to confirm that this new mode is coming because the new mode is actually kind of a big deal, in my opinion. I mean, it's going to be a very different way to play the game. And because of that, that's a lot of new content that you can experience. But because of the fact that they didn't confirm that, because of the fact that they didn't say how many story missions were going to be, people are expecting a lot more story missions. I mean, if you just look at the base game, there was a lot of missions in the main story, and I think people were expecting there to be probably about the same as one chapter for the new season, or maybe two chapters, one for each episode. But it's not, and while it definitely does seem like future seasons are going to have more story stuff than just this first season, after waiting for three months with basically no hunt formations for anything and no word from the devs about future stuff, really, we just knew it was coming. We didn't know what was in it, really. And now people are reasonably upset. And like I mentioned before, there's the huge PC issue. So it's just kind of a disappointment for a lot of people. And I completely understand that. Overall, I do think that the season one, episode one is good. I think it's probably like a six out of 10, seven out of 10, which in my opinion is a good ranking. But because of the fact that I and other people thought there would be more story missions would be a new stronghold thing, which there really isn't, means that it's a letdown to people because it seemed like they basically confirmed that there was going to be more. And when you don't say specifically that there isn't going to be, then that's your responsibility as the developers. This video, I know, has been overall pretty negative, and that's mainly just because I needed to say that stuff. I think Joker is a ton of fun. I love Joker. I love the new weapons. I think the new boss is great. I enjoyed the cutscenes that we got with the new update. And one of the reasons why this stuff is disappointing is because we didn't get more cutscenes. We didn't get more of the story missions that are so enjoyable to do. And overall, I understand why this update took so long to get out, and it was probably delayed a bit internally. And I know that they never confirmed a specific announce date, but just based off of everything, it most likely was supposed to be towards the first couple weeks of March that this season was meant to release. And it most likely was pushed back due to all of the bug issues with people being unable to play needing to be fixed before this release. But at the same time, the fact that they didn't just say that strongholds are those specific missions that we've already experienced, or the fact that there would be only one story mission for this one, which would have been fine, but like, it's not great. It, I, In my opinion, there definitely should be at least two or three story missions per episode. But I understand also, though, that this is the first season and maybe it wasn't meant to ever have as much content as this is kind of a transition into the whole season concept for this game. 
All I'm hoping for is that the feedback is being listened to for this season and that they do improve with future seasons. I do think that the future seasons will be better. Anyways, um, that's going to be it for this video. I'm sorry it was very negative. I do love this game and I just am trying to be completely honest about everything because I do want stuff to be improved upon. So that's why I am trying to give constructive criticism. I'm not just trying to be negative for the sake of being negative. I want this stuff to be improved, which is why I'm pointing it out. Anyways, I will see you guys all next time and goodbye.